Hey Imran Sadiq Web Squadron, I've been approached to review a new plugin which has only been out for six days. However, I want to make clear right now, this is not paid for. I'm not being paid to do this video. There's no affiliate commission link. I get nothing from this. Nada. Nothing at all. This is just an honest review and I'll let you make your own mind when you get to the end of it. What I'm going to do is tell you about the plugin. I'm going to show you how it works, how it could benefit you, but then I'm also going to kind of give you some concerns that I have also about it. I'm talking about the Elemental Speed Optimizer. Speed up Elemental site, basically it tells you there, uh, by the WP Pool uh, development team. Now, when they told me about this plugin yesterday, I was like, ooh, fastest loaded time by blocking unnecessary elemental assets. Now, many of us for ages have said, wouldn't it be great if there was something that actually stopped certain assets being loaded? However, there is more to this and I really do have to explain it. So WP Pool, they've created it. Look, it's just come out six days ago at the time I'm doing it. It's really, really new. Now this plugin does make some big claims, okay, about how it's gonna increase your speed, um, you know, the way things are loaded and it, obviously that's gonna help conversions, GT metrics, page speed insights, all of that. There are two versions though, the free version and the paid for version. I've used the free version, gives you a blacklist mode. Now the blacklist mode basically removes Elementor from a page or a post. You're completely removing Elementor. If you have a website and you have got 10 pages on it and all 10 pages are Elementor and you activate this, and when you activate, it's pretty simple. You activate it and then says, what pages do you want to switch Elemental off on? Remove all the assets. And if I go and pick all 10 pages, all 10 pages will lose Elemental completely. If I pick five of them, five of them will lose Elemental. The other five won't. So you get to pick and choose. Now, if your entire website's built in Elemental, why would you do that, number one? And number two, you're gonna to have to redo those pages. So if they were built with, say, the Gutenberg or the classic WordPress post or page editor, you could get away with it. Maybe it's a WooCommerce shop, the cart or checkout page, or the account page, you could get away with it. If it is literally just what you get out of WordPress in a way, you know, you're not using any Elemental widgets. However, if you've got an Elemental header and a footer, it's gonna break those right? So you've got to think very carefully about what are you stopping from loading on the page. So let's say you've got a checkout page and you've got an elemental header and an elemental footer, but your middle bit was made with WordPress Gutenberg because it was just a standard WooCommerce shortcode that you get automatically on the checkout page. What happens there? So I can see that this would be good if you wanted to remove Elemental from loading any assets whatsoever. But if you've got a home page, and to be honest, you know when you assess a website, do you assess the middle page or the checkout page when you're looking at their page speed insight? No, you go for the home page. So if the home page has still got Elemental loaded on it, why would you remove Elemental? So this is a test website, okay? Nothing fancy going on here. This is literally a test website. There is no optimization plugin plug on here at all. Just Elemental and Elemental Pro. Nothing fancy going on, right? It is a clean website. This gets about 62 on the mobile and about 83, 85 on the um, desktop, okay? Because there's no optimization plugin. N nothing at all. If I activate the page speed booster plugin, doo -doo 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 -doo, and I then say this page, okay, remove Elemental, the score goes up to 99 for the mobile and 100 for the desktop. At this point, you're going to be falling off your chair and going, Eureka! You know, normally I use Asset Cleanup or Toptimize, WP Fastest Cache or Lightspeed. A lot of you will use Perf Matters. Um, WP Rocket, um, WP Supernova, which does not exist, but you know, you'll know you have lots of optimization plugins and choices. But this plugin just suddenly boosted the score from 63 to 99 on the mobile and from 83 to 100 on the desktop. And those, those are not fake numbers. They are real numbers because I tested this numerous times. But here's the problem. This homepage was built entirely with Elementor. 
Do you now want to see what it looks like the minute you activate the plugin? Get ready. Look at that. Look what's happened to the header. The header has just gone. Where's the header gone? The header's gone. The header's gone. Look at the images. On here, that was one image, two, three, four, five as a background image, and then we got six here. Look now, one image, one image. Look, just look at what's happened. So if that page was built in Gutenberg, maybe, or WordPress editor, whatever, or something else, <clears throat> I don't know, visual composer, you know, <laughs> but you know, whatever it's built in, it would still probably look okay. But if you activate a plugin and you remove Elementor, this is what you're going to get. So I would, I, I think the developers, they, they've obviously think, hey, look, we want to create a plugin that's going to do something amazing. However, fastest loaded time by blocking unnecessary elemental assets. You're not actually blocking elemental assets, are you, though? So I'm not criticizing. I'm just getting across. This could work for you. Maybe you want to load it and you just say, right, account, cart, checkout, maybe the shop page, maybe you're using the Astra theme. So, you, you know, if you're using Hello, you build everything from scratch. Maybe you're using Astra and you don't want to have unnecessary bloat or whatever. But have a think. What about your header and your footer? What about if you have got an elemental widget on the page, something like that? It's going to boost a score, but is it really worth it? So I'm now going to contradict what I normally preach. Page speed score is important. You want your websites to load fast. You want to convert. But if your website needs to look a certain way and it needs to have certain features and those features, that code, that animation, that JavaScript, that whatever, whatever, whatever causes a bit of a delay or whatever, but you needed it, you kind of suck it up, don't you? You kind of go, yeah, I know about it. Just like if you had Google Tag Manager, Facebook Pixel, um, G GDPR Cookie Consent, it hits your score, doesn't it? Sometimes 30%. If you know what hits it, you, you go with it. You go, look, I know my score is 60% because I... The point I'm making is this could work for you, okay? I'm not saying it's not going to work for you. However, I care more about the homepage, okay? And if you activate this, your homepage is bust up, in my opinion, okay? So I feel, I'm trying to say this in a nice way, because I don't want this to come across as a rant or a criticism, but I'm just trying to get across. If you call the plugin Elemental Speed Optimizer, Speed Up Elemental Site, that is not doing what it does. That name implies to me it's going to speed up the website. What it actually does is remove the assets and it removes them completely, okay? It doesn't allow you to pick and choose da -da, completely out of the system. And I'm just going to share with you what would be the pricing option. The pricing option, even though this has got a discount, okay, is uh, for three websites, it's $41 a year. I'm really, I, I'm, I, I have to be honest, I'm just not feeling these costings. I really am not feeling them as to um, what is the overall benefit you're going to get. So I would say to the developers, look, you're onto something here. You need to create a plugin or something that allows you to actually properly stop those widgets being loaded and anything unnecessary being loaded on the website. Not create this because People are going to load that. They are going to say, yep, do it on the homepage. And then they're going to be horrified when they see that as a result. I would love to know your opinions. And if anyone else is trying out this plugin, I think it could potentially be developed further a lot more to actually deliver what it says. But what it does need to be, in my opinion, is renamed and say, stop elemental loading full stop on your page. Because that's kind of what it does. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I'll see you. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life.
I never miss that stack. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag. Cause I